Ah, yes, cities, the peak of humanity, with air so clean that it would make your 95-year-old grandmother, who's had lung cancer for the past 25 years, finally die from smoking 26 Cavern A darts for the past millennium. Each city definitely has its own personality and definitely isn't copy and pasted from place to place. Every city is filled with idiots that don't know how to drive a car properly and who definitely stop at every single Tim Hortons every 15 minutes to go buy a donut and urinate. Ah, yes, cities. So let's make fun of every major city in Canada, starting with St. John's. You know what? I'm stumped on this one. St. John's, you are the most irrelevant major city in this country. You're so irrelevant that there's more Google searches on DuckDuckGo for St. John's basketball than your own city. Wow, what a burn. Halifax, Nova Scotia. All they do is drink, throw up, and are way too nice, like to the point of coming across as fake. But I promise, they aren't. Fredericton, New Brunswick. Hey Preston, just grab a case so we can get back on the road. How about Dr. Pepper? Yeah, that works, let's go. I do drugs last week. Okay guys, get in the car. Oh, okay. The best beer is a crisp and refreshing Dude, move, later. Go. It's a classic choice that's easy to drink and goes well with any food. No way! A bold Preston, and flavorful liquid is the real king oh, of okay. beers. It's perfect for those who appreciate a strong and complex flavor profile and pairs well with spicy food. La Ville du Québec, Québec. What can I say is wrong with it? There's trees everywhere, and the city knows how to keep its streets clean from garbage. The city is beautiful during the fall and looks like you've been transported right to Middle Earth. It's one of the most European looking cities in North America and has lots of architecture and festivals. Because holy these people love music festivals. I swear, every time I go to La Ville du Québec, I find that there's at least five music festivals going on at once. They take up the whole god road, and every time I try to drive through the city, there's just stages and tents. During the winter, the city has Le Carnaval de Québec, which has tons of ice sculptures, hot tubs, slides, and saunas. <laughs> But there's one thing we need to talk about the cities. Cyclists. Like, holy your cyclists are some of the biggest bags in the entire fucking world. You have dedicated bike lanes in your city, but half the time the cyclists just cut you off while you're driving and think they own the entire fucking road. Also, give us back our fucking team Colorado. That fucking Quebec's property heads on the NHL board. Montreal, Quebec. Okay, Montreal, we need to talk. You guys have an okay metro system. Unlike Toronto, your culture is vastly different from the rest of Canada, and the people who live there aren't that big of assholes. But I have a few complaints. You guys absolutely have no idea how to drive properly. Like, at all. And your whole city is always under construction. Anytime I ever move through the city, I swear, I get impaled by some spike that some dumb construction worker tied to the front of his car while trying to hit a beer can off his co-worker's head. Like, all you do is build, 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 build. Have you ever heard of Sleep Montreal? Sleep? Toronto, Ontario. I'm gonna be upfront and honest for a second. I hate Toronto. I hate it. I don't hate the people that live there, though. I don't hate the city itself, but it just breeds horrible politician after horrible politician. They don't know how to properly make a metro like Montreal, and personally, they have a horrible hockey team. But I have a solution to this barbaric city. We should push the entire city into Lake Ontario. Hear me out on this. It fixed the housing crisis that has been there by creating a new land and would rid this country of the most incompetent politicians around. This would also have the added bonus of getting rid of the massive eyesore of Toronto that burns my eyeballs while looking at her. Winnipeg, Manitoba. It doesn't exist. It's a conspiracy theory by the Canadian government. You should go watch my other video on why this is after this one. So click the card in the, in the top of the your top right hand corner. Should, should pop up like now. No, but in all seriousness, they do have the best hockey team in all of Canada, hands down. I don't care if they've never actually won the Stanley Cup or even any kind of games. I just hate Toronto. Regina. Saskatchewan. The word Regina means queen in Latin. Yep. <laughs> That's all I got. Edmonton, Alberta. I had a nice old lady in an antique shop in Quebec once tell me that she worked for some international group there. 
Besides, I've never actually had a problem with anyone from there, nor have I ever been there. So I don't really have a lot to go off of. So literally just from this lady from Quebec, thumbs up Edmonton, thumbs up. Victoria, British Columbia. Ah, Victoria, British Columbia. Basically, it's la ville du Québec on the West Coast, minus French people. Vancouver, British Columbia. Basically, Toronto on the West Coast, but with slightly less horrible politician and an actual good hockey team. White Horse, Yukon. How did they get a horse in freezing cold weather? Yellowknife, Northwest Territories. Is the knife made out of limestone and that's why it's called Yellowknife? And why is there a giant lake located on it called Great Slave Lake? They have some really cool looking houses up there. And finally, Ottawa, Ontario. Ah, Ottawa. What can I say about it? Goodbye. I'm about to end this man's whole career. Also, have you seen that if 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 you take away Norway, Sweden looks like a and, and you know, Finland being the